Hello everybody, my name is Brad Mason. I'm the pioneer field agronomist in Western Illinois. We're quickly approaching April, and just as quick as we're approaching April, our soil conditions are rapidly improving across most of Western Illinois. So the question begins, is it too early to plant corn or is it too early to plant soybeans? So I wanna talk through a couple things that I look for uh, to help mitigate some of the risk if I do to make the decision to plant here the first week of April. So the very first thing, regardless of crop, that I look for is soil temperature. 50 to 55 degrees has always been the rule of thumb. Um, I do like 55 degrees and up for corn and 50 and up for soybeans. And it's just because we see a lot better uniform emergence when it comes to corn at 55 degrees and up. Uh, does that mean I'm stopping the planter if it's 54? Maybe not but just something to think about as we do that. With the soil conditions we have and the temperature we're looking to see here in that first week of April, soil temperature should be pretty good through most of that week with a lot of 70s and 60s for our air temperatures and lows only being in the upper 50s. So uh, soil temperature I'm not overly concerned about. Uh, another thing I look for too is herbicide management. A lot of us when we plant, we wanna make sure we get our herbicides out there for a, a pre-emerge one thing to watch is if you have moisture in the forecast and cold temperatures in the forecast, regardless of crop, make sure you're managing your herbicide programs appropriately so you don't run the risk of causing seedling injury because of herbicides. A lot of herbicides we run into in our pre-plant uh, or uh, pre-emerge herbicides can run the risk of damaging that seedling if we get into a cold and wet environment. We can only see really till the end of the first week of April and the conditions look good. Uh, with moisture and temperature, so I don't know if that's gonna be a risk, but that is something to monitor, and I encourage you to talk to your Pioneer seed rep or agronomist on uh, some of the herbicide tolerance we see of some products. The other thing that I talk about with corn and soybeans is emergence. So when it comes to emergence and GDUs, we typically say 90 to 120 for both crops. I will tell you, the earlier we plant soybeans, I typically see 100 to 120 GDUs for soybeans to really get emerged with 120 being uh, a lot more common just because we see those soybeans stall out in that cold environment and slowly grow. When it comes to corn, I really target 100 to 120 as well, um, depending on the conditions. And so that's why I like that warmer soil temperature for corn. So that way I can get a more uniform uh, emergence. When it comes to soybeans, Uniform is okay, but you know, they're kind of friendly. They, they really like to branch out to everybody else and let everybody in. So uh, corn can be a little snobby and wants to kind of snuff out its neighbors. So uh, when it comes to that, I, I'm not overly concerned. But when I look at the GDUs for the next week here in Macomb, Illinois, I did quick math and uh, just between Monday and Friday next week, we're looking at 55 to 60 GDUs if the highs and lows stay the same. So what does that mean? We're halfway to emergence. So when we start to get in that second week of April, if we have another warm week of April, that gets us to 100 GDUs or more. So we could see crops emerge very quickly and timely, which is a good thing. We're not having an issue with that. But with us planning early, we have to think about what if we have another frost event like we had last year at the, uh, at the beginning of May. So when we talk about crops, we talk about corn frost sensitivity and soybeans frost sensitivity. So when it comes to corn, there's not a huge amount of risk. We can ding that crop. We saw that last year where uh, people had corn up and it got frosted, it kind of lays it over, but typically within a week or two, it stands back up, it greens back up, that new growth is good to go. That's because the growing point of corn stays below ground until later in that season. Typically that V4, V5 time frame, we start to see it come up above the soil, temp, soil line. So it's not too big of an issue. When we talk about soybeans, that growing point, the second those cotyledons break uh, the soil line, we are now susceptible to frost. The good news is that cotyledons have a waxy cuticle on them, so they are frost resistant, and we typically need a pretty solid frost for a, a good amount of time to kill them. But once we start to get those unifoliates and trifoliates out, we do run the risk of getting a frost and killing those growing points. So that is something to think about as we see the forecast ahead. Uh, I don't ever wanna hedge and think that we're gonna have another May frost, but it, it has happened. So just be cognizant of that. Uh, make sure you're monitoring and watching the situation as those times come. The other thing I wanna talk about is planting depth. When it comes to soybeans specifically, I'm a firm believer of planting a little bit deeper than we normally would, that inch and a half, um, because 
when we start talking about uh, temperature fluctuations in the soil temperature, I encourage everybody to look at the two inch soil temp and the four inch soil temp, because the deeper that soil is, the less that temperature fluctuation is. So if we can keep corn and soybeans in a good environment where that soil temperature isn't uh, dipping and diving all crazy. I mean, just last night, uh, the high yesterday for the soil temperature was 57 and the low was 38. So that's almost a 20 degree soil change in that two inches. So the deeper you are in that soil profile, typically the less volatility there is. I'm not gonna tell somebody to go out and plant three, four, five inches deep, but make sure you're monitoring the soil temperature at the depth you're gonna plant. And like I said, I typically prefer soybeans planted a touch deeper if you're gonna plant them early. Same goes with population. I typically like to see a few more soybeans out there if you are gonna plant early. That being said, if you do make the decision to plant, I hope it works out for you. Um, I know there's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna be looking for it with a, with a good soil condition. So um, thank you all for watching and I hope everybody has a safe planting season. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.